potential comics connection exists between Captain America New World Order and an iconic MCU villain. But what can fans expect from his return? The Red Skull acts as the Joker to Captain America's Batman in Marvel Comics. In addition, he is viewed as an Avengers-level threat, given that he is the head of Hydra, one of Marvel's most active factions. It makes sense. Despite this, when he was first introduced to the MCU, the character was made to feel unimportant and forgettable. Even with a stellar performance, Hugo Weaving's portrayal couldn't stop his character in Captain America The First Avengers from launching into the unknown. Before making a comeback on Vormir in Avengers Infinity War, he had almost completely been forgotten by the public. In contrast to the MCU, where the Red Skull is a German super soldier developed by the Nazis during World War II, the origin of the Red Skull superpowers in Marvel Comics involved stealing Captain America's body. In reality, the Red Skull wasn't always a super soldier. He only turned into one after Arnim Zola transplanted his mind into a Steve Rogers clone body. The villain, not one to shy away from self-experimentation, administered a test batch of the Super Soldier Serum to himself, transforming him into Red Skull. He became even more powerful after discovering the Tesseract, also known as the Cosmic Cube. But touching the object sent him to the planet Vormir, where he now lives out his days as the Keeper of the Soul Stone. We now know he's still alive somewhere, so what else is stopping him from making a major villain comeback? After all this time, the Red Skull undoubtedly has a place and is capable of doing anything at this point. Given what we've seen from the current phase of MCU films and the Disney Plus series, a variety of possibilities are offered by the comics, and some of them don't seem unrealistic. New World Order will serve as the official title for the fourth Captain America movie, according to a Marvel announcement made at SDCC. The movie will be released on May 3rd, 2024 which will be part of Phase 5 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. New World Order is based on the Marvel comic story of the same name, which featured Red Skull, a well-known Captain America antagonist, as its leader. The name of the organization comes from a real-world conspiracy theory. Could the name hint at a possible Red Skull comeback? Marvel Studios kept many of the movie's twist a secret before the release of Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame. Fans arrived at the theater largely unsure of what to expect, especially in the case of the final adventure. The appearance of a well-known face was one of the best surprises, though. Since the ending of Captain America the First Avenger, Johann Schmidt, aka Red Skull, had vanished from sight on the distant place planet Vormir. However, the character unexpectedly made reappearance as the Soul Stone's protector. Red Skull gave characters a decision to make in each of the most recent two Avengers movies. Ross McQuan could theoretically return to the role of Red Skull because this character is still alive if Marvel decides that he should be in Captain America 4's opening enemy. But before we go any further, we wanted to let you know that it's time for you to smash that like button if you haven't done it already. Red Skull could possibly make a comeback in light of recent multiverse developments, according to Marquand, who added that there is a good chance we will see him again. The recently revealed title suggests a potential Red Skull connection, which raises questions about what the plot of Captain America 4 will be. The Red Skull's organization, known as the New World Order in comic books, was in charge of the Incredible Hulk during a 1990 storyline. The villain's ultimate goal with the New World Order was to rule the entire planet. To foil the Red Skull's plot, it took the Hulk, the Black Knight's Avengers, and Doc Samson. The MCU's version of this story may not feature any of those heroes, but the fact that the newest Captain America film bears the name of Steve Rogers' greatest enemy suggests that he might be involved. Red Skull's presence in the multiverse saga feels like a long shot, despite Avengers Infinity War's confirmation that he is still alive. The antagonist, who served as the MCU's Hydra leader, appeared to have lost both his identity and all of his evil intentions after being sent to Vormir. He has changed considerably since Captain America the First Avenger. So for him to take on the role of the New World Order's villain once again, something drastic would need to occur with his character. It's not impossible, though, to get him off Vormir and help him rediscover who he is. Ross Merquan could theoretically reprise his role as Red Skull if Marvel decides that he's the best choice for the initial villain in Captain America 4, because Red Skull isn't actually dead. Red Skull is now free to leave Vormir after the events of Avengers Endgame. 
because he is no longer guardian to the Soul Stone. Of course, at the conclusion of Endgame, Captain America gave Vormir the Soul Stone back. However, the idea is that Red Skull might make a comeback thanks to either the MCU's introduction to the multiverse or his newly acquired freedom. One of Red Skull's most powerful abilities, thanks to the Tesseract, is reality bending. In one of the comics, Red Skull becomes imprisoned in the Nightmare Dimension. Therefore, his ability to warp reality is the result of his ability to escape this hellish dimension. Red Skull, on the other hand, plans to use Scarlet Witch's ability to create alternate realities to conquer the world in the Axis story. He almost succeeds too, but Wanda's father, the mutant Magneto, ends up killing him. Red Skull's death wasn't the end of his life, as is usual in comic book stories. As a result, he was actually transformed into Red Onslaught, a far more dangerous antagonist. Wanda's attempts to defeat him a second time result in an inversion in which the Red Skull becomes a good guy and the Avengers become evil. What a surprise! What the Red Skull has been up to in the world after Endgame is unknown. The reality in which WandaVision will exist, however, is altered, and it's possible that Red Skull is at least partially to blame for this. He might have returned to Earth, taken Wanda's abilities, and imprisoned her in a surreal sitcom universe to keep her occupied. Red Skull's return could mean the end of the Disney Plus series, though there's a chance he won't be eliminated so quickly. If he manages to escape, he could theoretically resume his plans for world domination. That would eventually lead to the Avengers getting involved to try to stop him in Avengers 5. If the film follows the same plot as Axis, the Earth's mightiest heroes may get a taste of what it's like to be the bad guys for a change. An evil Avengers has yet to be addressed in the MCU, and Red Skull's involvement could finally make that a reality. Given that he's one of Marvel's most prolific villains, he needs to make a comeback because there's so much that he can do. He and Steve Rogers were like opposing forces. Steve, the Hydra commander, was the total opposite of everything good. He was one of the first Marvel villains to appear on the pages, which means that you need to smash that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll never miss out on any of our videos in the future. But yeah, he did terrorize the world for the past eight decades. In his quest for world dominance, he has attacked more than one nation, bringing him into conflict with other villains. He's imprisoned mutants and tried numerous times to end Captain America's life. He also stole Charles Xavier's brain and gained his abilities as a result. Consider how dangerous Red Skull can be in the film if he can read the minds of the Avengers as they plot against him. He was recently able to manipulate reality to turn Captain America into a Hydra mole, resulting in one of the most controversial storylines in recent years. And those are just a few of the worst things that he's ever accomplished. See you in the next video.